Hey guys, happy Wednesday night. Hope everyone's having a good night. I'm just here at the office waiting to sit down with a couple of buyers I've been speaking to over the last couple of weeks. Um, they're looking at making the, the plunge and making a few offers on properties, which is fantastic. Now, they've, they've obviously had a few concerns and missed out on a few properties and so wanted to chat one of the things that have come out uh, with conversations had with them and of course conversations had in general within the marketplace at the moment is the fact that stock levels are really low at the moment. Um, as such, demand for the stock that is online it has been very high. We've noticed that a lot of our properties are getting into multiple office situations. Um, definitely properties are selling before auction. Uh, we haven't had one property this year go to auction. It's all sold prior. Now with that, um, I do have a few tips and, and I'll definitely be talking to these buyers about it. One thing I would suggest is get in early. Um, and what I mean by that is if you are interested in a property, make that interest known to the agent and ultimately to the vendor. Um, this puts you in a really good position because even if you don't take the plunge straight away and make that offer, the agent will be obligated to come back to you and give you a shot. Um, and and you'll, you should be then informed that if there is an offer on the table, um, you, you'll have a shot at, at making an offer also. Now, the other thing, the other thing I would suggest, and, and obviously sometimes people um, take it with a grain of salt and um, have the pessimistic view that an agent will say anything to get a deal done. Um, but the other thing I would suggest is make your offer as clean as possible. What I mean by that is make sure that your conditions are as simplistic as possible and have the most minimal time frame possible. Obviously, you have to do your, your due diligence, your homework, and be comfortable with presenting an offer that is clean. Um, but I would suggest, based off the fact that it is very competitive out there in the marketplace at the moment, that you should have um, as minimal time frame possible to finance, especially if you have pre-approval. Um, if you do have pre-approval, you don't actually need a finance clause, um, of course, your solicitor is always going to recommend it because they have to side with you from a legal standpoint and protect you. I understand that. Um, but if you can avoid it, I would definitely suggest doing that. The other thing is building a pest. Um, a lot of our a lot of our vendors, especially, we are recommending that they get a building and pest done. Now, that's a third party company. Um, there is no way that you know anything is swept under the rug. It's sorted and done in the most correct way. Um, so one thing I would suggest, if you can avoid it, um, don't do a building and pest. Now, that's completely up to you guys. You have to be comfortable. But the thing I'm really trying to, to, trying to point out, guys, is that um, it is very competitive out there at the moment you need to be able to put yourself in a position where your offer is as clean as possible and therefore you'll have the best shot. Um, but yeah, just a few quick tips, guys. If you had any questions, give me a call. More than happy to help. Um, look forward to seeing you guys again soon. See ya.